a special episode for you guys today. It's going to be hunting, shooting, planking, whole lot of fun. Got a special guest that came all the way down here from Chicago and he's active duty. So, woo, enough talking. Let's get right into the action. Oh, yeah. I'm holding up the NSA. For this particular hunt, I'm holding loading up this NSA's uh, for Granadies. Because there ain't, there ain't too much wind out here. Plus, I still want the power. So, I'm going up with the uh, 43 and 8. So, that's 43.8 uh, grains. NSAs, you know. Don't let them lie Walmart. to you. It's a lot of wind out here, guys. It's man, it's 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 crazy windy out here. I'm just joking. <laughs> and then I'm going with the uh, Wildcat 30. This 1.2 plenums on it, and I added uh, the extra shroud. The uh, the, uh, the seven. This was a uh, compact uh, 30, but I put the shroud, the uh, the 700 millimeter barrel on it, and slapped on two uh, uh, 1.2 plenums. So I'm at right now. I'm at uh, my bar. I'm at uh, my regulator is at 150, and I'm at 100. I'm at uh, my field. I'm at a, a 200 field. 200 on my field. So we'll see what happens. I'm slap on the scope, take a couple shots, and see where we at. Uh, matter of fact, I'm gonna keep it on my adjust. I'm gonna keep it on. Oh yeah, I'm gonna keep it on five or six. I'm not going to go seven because I want to watch my shot count. We're out here. Lake Mead. And we're hunting. Some black tail rabbits, some jack rabbits. Looking for them right now. Haven't seen nothing yet, but uh, we just got out here. Heck yeah, we got... Uh, Got the HPSS 25 and got the uh, Wildcat uh, chambered in uh, 30 cal, nice. seven, uh, 700 millimeter barrel. Okay, and then old boy right here, man, he got the, the Galatian Tactical Auto Semi Auto. Yeah. Clips on there too, you ready? You ready? Yeah, yeah, and I extended the hammer on that bad boy too. Yeah. yeah, so we're ready to go. We're ready to put something down. We're just looking, tracking and looking. So. Stay tuned. It should get awesome. If not, at least you guys get some awesome nature shots. So that's always good. You uh, got the mountains right here. Almost look like a like the old like Indian like uh, 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 tunnel huts. I mean, it's pretty freaking cool. I'm pretty sure that's not what they are. So I'm pretty sure this used to be all the other water. And probably the water created that. Mm -hmm. But it still is a is an eye catcher. It really shows you how uh, nature's uh, artistic side. Nice though, huh? Yeah, it is. <laughs> it feels <laughs> But you know what? It sounds like a spring loaded, but that's it. It does, it does. Yeah, it's got some good. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, man. A little beast right that here. That would be my alternative to that Sumatra. Yeah, man. That would be it. 400. Can't beat that. That's cheaper than the, than the Crow Puncher Breaker. What's going on? We're just chilling in a little cutout of the mountain. It's pretty freaking cool. And it is like 80 degrees cooler right here. 
Now, the fly keeps bugging me and I'm trying to figure out where the hell this fly is coming from. Uh, but other than that, it is amazing. Really nice, really cool. We're chilling right there. Thank you. Water break. There's water break down. All right, guys, check this out. Look at that. What? You see how deep that is? I can't even see down there. Hopefully you guys can. I'll have to watch the footage. Look at that. That's crazy. As we're hunting, guys, looking for rabbits, found a mine. Isn't that insane? This is the real life Spartan death pit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I just want to kick something down there. Got a lizard with the HPSS. <laughs> What'd you say I took that first shot from? It's about 20 yards. Less than 10, less than 10 yards with the HPSS. That's what a 25 cal will do to a lizard. That's crazy. Not too bad, not too bad. Yo, I got swag, but I also got drip. <laughs> It's hot as hell out here, guys. Woo. I'm on that Kuta Kente 2.5. It's hot. It's, hot. It's, 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 it's borderline slave ship hot. <laughs> For real. <laughs> but man, we having a good time seeing some shit, man, that we haven't either seen it or haven't seen it in a long time. Now it's pretty cool. I think this is pretty much a new experience for all of us. Yeah, I agree. So I've never been here. I know you guys are from Chicago, so I'm not going to see stuff like that. Yeah, you've seen a lot of good, uh, good views and sceneries, guys. Different colored rocks, and uh, as you've seen earlier, I got a chance to shoot a lizard. Yeah, I got my mini Godzilla hunt on, <laughs> so that was pretty cool. More like God's, uh, was it Godzuki? Godzilla's kid, never back, back in the day. Godzuki. So I was hunting Godzuki. I gotta go to Florida and get dead. <laughs> That's what That's Godzilla. Gotta stay tuned for. Yeah, stay man. Tuned for that, uh, for Florida. Yeah, man. I want to make a trip with you, bro. Okay. I All think right. that would be dope. All right. Let me. You, would you come into uh, Utah? Yeah. Twenty six. Yeah. Definitely got a clean here. You ever try those bomb and They're not bad, man. They're not bad at all. Pretty freaking accurate, I'll tell you that. But the price, man, is just they're they're pretty expensive. I got them twenty five. But I know where to use. Yeah. Some bio, yeah. Hitting a little high and getting a little low. That's probably about what, like 30 yards? Mm -hmm. Roughly? Yeah. It is hot as hell out here, y'all. Well, we didn't really get anything out there other than that uh, that lizard, which is pretty awesome. That guy hit a lizard was pretty cool. That's uh, a lot harder than you would think. So I got Godzuki, took him down, and then now we're just shooting some bottles. Say fuck it, for, forget it. Excuse my language. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> this one's hunting, so it's automatically going to be demonetized. <laughs> right, right, right. But uh, I'm just enjoying it. 
scenery is good, and you know we're gonna get to see all this type of stuff again. Now, heck yeah. Now that we're gonna get a chance to see all this type of stuff. Too much again. Since we didn't shoot no rounds, we can shoot some bottles and cans, right? Right, right. And, you know, we didn't, uh, get, you know, I didn't put my scope right now, I said my channel, I'll put a scope. That's a rounds and uh, some squirrels and a couple rabbits, but, you know, we're gonna hunt for some jack rabbits today and some, mm -hmm. um, Whatever else is out here, coyote, whatever, because this is where it is. You go for them, right? Exactly, yeah. Even uh, even the people at uh at Lake Mead facility were telling us, man, it's pretty good out here. But looks like we just came on one of those days, man. It just wasn't too much out here. It's actually pretty quiet, so we were probably probably the loudest thing out here. So it's definitely a undisturbed area. Right, right, right. And we've seen signs of life. We've seen coyote scat, man. Some uh. Mm -hmm. Some uh, some rabbit pellets, man, but we just couldn't see any signs of life. I think, well, didn't you see something when we first were coming up here? You seen something moving? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I saw something moving. Okay, okay. Uh, you know, yeah, so, I mean, that's probably all we've seen out here. Other than that, we've just been hiking, seeing some good scenery, man, doing some target shooting with the HPSS and uh, the Wildcat FX. And uh, he got to shoot the Galatian Tactical Auto since we didn't get to, like I said, shoot any any animals do any hunting yeah. he got to actually shoot a shoot a semi-auto air gun was that your first time shooting a semi-auto yes it was, it was. how'd you real like nice, it real nice real nice yeah man yeah, that galatian tactical auto it's a, it's a beast it really is mm -hmm. now honestly man i could I, I don't think it's worth the 700 bucks uh, i think it i mean because i compare it to something like this you know like this is you're getting 30 foot pounds with this bad boy it's 500 bucks and then for a hundred more, you could get you a 357 big bore bolt action in a wood in a wood chassis. So it's you, like you talking about this bad boy right here. Yeah, man. So it's like when you look at the Galatian Tactical Auto and it's it's synthetic, damn near everything. <coughs> shotgun config, shotgun uh, configuration. It's a it's a hell of a gun, accurate man. It's it's reliable. But sitting here and looking the camera and saying it's worth the 700. And actually, I paid 900 bucks for it because for, it first came out and then it dropped to 700. Okay. So yeah, I don't think it's worth nine, man. But it is a good gun. Obviously, it hasn't gotten it hasn't gotten sold. It's still in the collection. So that says that says enough right there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Got Derek here. He's gonna check out a couple of these guns that I got. D Air Gunner. D Air Gunner. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe. D Air Gunner. There you go. Hell yeah. <laughs> Put the, the link in the description. Yeah, yeah, Heck yeah. yeah, man. Wow, everything's been going good with your YouTube channel, man? Yeah, it's just it's going. It's going along. Yeah, man, it's going. Yeah, man. Not as good as yours, but you know. I've been watching yeah. your content, though, man. <laughs> you got a lot more uh, more higher-end guns than I do, though, man. Oh, man. It ain't about nah, that. Nah, man. It's, look, 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 man. It's, about the, it's not about the, 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 the quality. I mean, the quantity. It's about the quality. If you, you say what so. You got here, if you, what you got here is good. I mean, we've I mean, been around for a long time, and oh uh, yeah, AEA they they uh they they definitely doing their thing, man. Oh yeah, oh it yeah. Is. But I can't lie, there's a couple of uh, one couple of FX guns that I'd like to get, man. They're just that like price, man. It's just yeah, that price is ridiculous. That man. price is ridiculous, man. It is, man. It's uh the impact I would like to get, man. That's about it, really. Yeah, you get the. Uh, I'm gonna tell you the truth about the impact, man. You get the impact, then you can always change the barrel out. And you can go from like if you go for a, if you go get a 22 impact, which probably was the lowest costing one, you can always step up to a 35 or a 30. Okay. You know you can switch it out. You know that man, and you know that's why I had that's you, you paying for that in the long run. The fact that you can order a hundred dollar barrel and switch it out and make it a bigger caliber. Gotcha. So that, you paying for that straight out. That's why it costs so much. Yeah. So just that's to steal, man. That that that, yeah, that, that initial price. Woo wee. Yeah. Because yeah. I look at it, man, and then I'll be like. Damn, I could get me a another firearm for that. Good, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I, mean? I get criticized a lot for my guys in my unit. They're like, man, Derek, man, you could, uh, you could man buy three, four firearms for that. I said, yeah, <laughs> it is, but you can't fire a firearm in your backyard. That, that is true. Things. That is you know, very you can't true. Do that. So that's the that's the the best thing about air gunning, man. Yeah, it you really is. Like, you can get them off anywhere. The quietness, man, and the fact that you could still put game down, man, and hit targets effectively, mm -hmm. man, it's just, mm -hmm. it's a it's a really good thing. And just the calibers that you could get them in yeah. is just a totally different ball game too, man. Yep. The last uh, deployment I did uh, with FEMA, they would say, the guy, he couldn't believe it. I was showing them the air guns. Yeah. Man, I still can't believe that these air guns 
putting out this much power. I'm like, yeah, dude, this is just an air gun. Yeah, this man. Air These air guns do not play, guys. Yeah. Uh, you got guys play. that use it for home defense. Yeah, like, that is uh, true. Uh, ex felons that can't legally have a gun. Oh, and easy, they could, uh, these they air guns could easily gun. do it, too. Yeah. Not yeah. a problem, yeah. man. They're going to have an air gun. So it's a guy that uh, I, know, I think I subscribed to his channel. He was sharing, he was uh, doing his uh, self-defense for people who has um, felonies. Okay. And he brought out the, uh, what's that, the uh, the B-57 um, by uh, Benjamin? Yeah. Uh, he brought that out. He said, "This is my air. This is my um, defense right here." Definitely, I'm telling you, it could so, definitely work. It's not a problem. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We all know some you get he get hit. Some anybody get hit with that, they hurt. Oh yeah. Oh, you got the red dot on. Did you know that? Oh, oh, I didn't know actually the laser went on. Yeah, I took it off. But, but we ain't gonna need it. All right, we're good on that one. All right, we're hot on both of these. Right. I want you to take a uh, take a shot, man. Check them out. All right, I'm going for the, this is the, tell me what I'm shooting, man. So this right here is the HPSS by AEA Semi-Auto, eight inch barrel, uh, very tactical as you can see. Mm -hmm. And uh, believe it or not, it is not a carbine, it's actually a pistol. Yeah, it so, feels like a, a pistol carbine. Like yeah, that. man, but uh, very comfortable, accurate, man. What you rocking up here? Got the Donny FL Ronin suppressor. Okay. Uh, this is the Tango Down foregrip. Um, UGT laser, man, if I remember right. Ben Tactical stock aftermarket. I like this. And then I like we this. got, uh, I honestly can't remember what red dot that is. But I'll say, uh, uh, say on there. Barsky, Barska, Barske. Barske. Uh, Barske red dot, which I got at like big five for like 60, 75. What caliber is this again? 25. 25. Man. Wow. And uh, we're rocking 26 grain NSA slugs What's in there the, right now. Uh, CC's on this. Uh, it is a twenty-five, uh, a twenty-four MPA tank. Okay. Uh, that's max fill. Okay. That's uh, so. It's giving you about good three shot, three magazines, man. Mm. Full power. Uh huh. And uh, like I said, thirty foot pounds. Uh, you're getting about seven twenty-five uh, FPS. Damn. Okay. Yeah. Damn. So I mean, vi Woo. very, 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 very. Uh, very urban. Very urban, <laughs> lethal. It's just, it's it's a, a great gun, guys. Amazing. Right, I'm about to put some lead down range. I right, should be ready to go. Fire. I'm going for the, uh, for the, uh, the gong. Okay. Now it's sighted in at, it's uh, it. on the, uh, on the red dot. It's, yeah, it's sighted in at, I believe, about, uh, 15 yards. Okay. Turn that red dot on for me, man. Oh, I'm gonna mess some stuff up. There it is. All right, man. Yes, sir. Woo! I like that red dot. You like that? I do. Get you guys an AEA gun, man. I'm telling you. For the yes, price, it's only 500 for those things. Oh, I like this. It's not bad. Oh, do I need to load one up? No, no, it's, it should be ready to go. Okay. Double feed. No. Ooh. Okay, let me see what that landed at. Yo, this is. Ooh. Okay, I see where I'm at. Uh oh. Where you Where the impact at? You see? Uh, hit a little bit to the right, between those the the between those two bricks. That's where you just hit. Okay, all right. So I'm gonna just right. See, so hit right there. So that's about. For some reason, when that lead hits those bricks, man, it melts. It, the, uh, the brick makes those lead bounce back. Yeah, just yeah. Come on, man. Come on, Derek. Gosh, damn it. Was that a hit? No, he's still hitting the brick. Yeah, out. What you think? How many though? shots? I like it, man. Ten shots. I like it. Cause you know what? I can see it going down range. I can see the uh lids going down range and then I can also feel the power in the damn thing. And I can't lie, we were shooting the NSA slug, so it's a little heavy from this okay. distance. Okay. With that eight, eight inch barrel, so that's probably has a lot to do with it too. Is that trigger adjustable? Uh, I'm it. not too I'm not sure. sure. I'm not one of those type of persons that really adjust right. too much. Right. You just you know, yeah. You I kinda just it. put my, my gear on it, man, my attachments, man, and just right. and shoot the as is. Yep. Yeah. 
unless it's like uh, the only guns I'll do like uh, some uh, some work on is something like this, like the Crossman. Yeah. Like this right here, I extended the barrel through the suppressor. Damn. Uh, took the mag apart and opened up the port internally. Okay. And uh, yeah, man, check this bad boy out. Let me let me let me let me let me let me give you my critique on this. Hill, okay, man. okay, okay. I, I you know what? what you I like the feel. It? I like the feel of this this handle right here. I don't know if you added this. No, that Did, actually this, came it came like yeah. that. Dude, it feels good in the hand. The only thing I added was this foregrip and this laser. I know it could get a little loose sometimes. Yeah. But uh, I just rock it like kind of like this just to give you yeah. that steady little right, platform. Right, right. I like the way it feels in the hand. It fits right good in there like, like yeah. a, a gun would. Mm -hmm. And like I said, this is a long gun, which is, which is known as a carbine. But this is, I can feel it, man. This is real. It's like right there in the shoulders nicely, man. It does. And it's like more, instead of like they going with the traditional AR uh, uh, handle, they yeah. kind of went with like the 357 Magnum like handle. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what it kind of feels like to me. Like it this uh, old, uh, old Dirty Harry, oh, old man. Old Dirty Harry gun. It does. Yeah. I like this. And then the... Yeah, yeah, I like the you know the uh, Picatinny on here. That yeah. came on that. That came on here. No, that didn't come on that. I added that myself. But uh, Black Art Designs were uh, they're coming out with something. Yeah. I'm working with them, uh, so we should have it within the next couple of months. I like this, man. I like that. I like how it feels, man. It's all yeah, about the feel. And this is the high power. Yeah. HP. Mm-hmm. Yeah, bro. I, I do a little. I do a little. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? I do a little. I've been watching uh, a A E A. All right, all right. And I know they got some H some other HPs out there too. And this is semi-auto. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, yeah. I like it, Afro. I like it. Now this bad boy right here. See me right there. All right. This one, man. Okay. Now notice you put a uh, what you call it in there. So this is a we call that a this a, this is a, a, a BBs. Yeah. Okay. Yep. CO two BBs. Okay. This is Crossman's new one, the A four P. Mm-hmm. Uh, just came out this year. Fully auto. Fully auto, and then okay. and this is also considered. Technically, it was a pistol. Okay. And I had extended the barrel, so now. Okay. It's not yeah. a pistol. Right. Now <laughs> it's a carbine for now real. It's now it's a carbine for real. Yeah, so. go. Just like a real. Yeah. Uh, you got your upper and your bottom receiver. And what's cool about this is they have a wide collection of these of these bad boys. Mm -hmm. They have the DPMS, the R1, and they have another one besides the A4P. Mm -hmm. And you could take each top receiver and put it on any of the, the ones. Oh, I like that. So that's pretty cool. So if you wanted the AR, uh, A4P mm -hmm. combo with the DPMS, you could do that. You know what I mean? And it's vice versa. You could throw the top receiver on any of the other ones too, on any of the bottom. So I like that. I and like uh, that. they got an AK one too, which is pretty freaking cool, man. And they also have a P one, which is a fully automatic, uh, kind of like the Breda, but it's more of like uh, the Taurus T one. Okay. You know what I mean? So, but heck yeah, man! Beautiful gun, man. It is really it's fun. Like, it's like a replica of the real uh, AR that we use. Yeah, and in my opinion, which is crazy is because how this barrel is set up on this one, I have found the most accuracy out of this one right here. Really? Yeah, and it's the shortest, but uh, after really having these guns, the reason why, I can get this bad boy off. Nope, this is gonna stay on there, fuck it. <laughs> the barrel actually, uh, in, uh, uh, comes out of the front right here mm -hmm. and it has a little capsule where it, like it pushes it into place from the uh, from the, oh. the, uh, the muzzle brake okay from uh, the flash hider smart, or the suppressor smart yeah, yeah another one kind of just free sits in there between two uh two like three o-rings okay so uh with it being pushed in there like that man you know you're getting a steadier barrel and a, mm -hmm. a better uh shot stream and a better uh point of impact so i really like this bad boy i, do. I like it enough talking man Rocking, enough talking. Let's get the rock. Let's get the rock, man. All right, I'm going full auto. So on this let's one. full auto. So it's probably going to just go a little bit everywhere. And this is red dot too. Yes, sir. Got it. You know, yeah. I think it's on. It's not on, but you know what? Watch this. That means I uh I left it on and killed yeah. the red dot. Yeah. <laughs> you guys know that life. I can adjust. Okay. Crazy. Pull that like trigger hard. Trigger pull it hard. Yeah, yeah, it's a it's a hard trigger. What do you say? I think that's it. Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't feel it now. Um the same reason it pops back. Okay. There you go. And I'm gonna go for something big so then I know I'm hitting something. Okay. I ain't gonna go for the gong. I don't wanna go over that thing. God 
Dang, where am I hitting that? <laughs> <laughs> You're hitting uh, the Spartan Shield. Big yellow. Uh, God uh, dang, bro. Yeah, you got a little, a little spicy this too, yes, huh? Yes, you Because you, you know, we don't have. That last one was the gong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, this, this, hey. It's pretty I've cool, seen though. this thing on um, advertised, uh, on the internet and stuff. Watch here, hold that. And hold the trigger down. Put you down. This is what they, this is probably what we moving toward, man. <laughs> this is what they moving toward nowadays. Fully auto. Please. It's fun. It's a, it's a, it definitely puts a smile on the face every yeah, time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, back to what we were talking about. So. What's your, your full opinion about the, the AR, about the a This Crossman, uh, full auto uh, AR, is it's, a, it's in a, a M4 configuration. Yeah. I think that, uh, well, uh, I know for a fact that this is, uh, this thing is rocking. It is. It, it definitely is. is. And coming from a um, training point of view, uh, being a military police myself, and we train on, on this, even though it's not our primary weapon, the uh, handgun is. This still feels authentic. Definitely. This thing feels like the real, like the real uh, M4 that we operate on, that we operate with. I mean, the grip, the AR style grip on here, the uh, the report of this thing as I was shooting it, the report of it, it's not as strong as the real M4, but the report is there. Yeah, and now uh, to anybody, uh, in the, to the soldiers that's just coming in and they need a training, uh, something to train on, I definitely recommend this. Train on this. I mean the 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 length of it. Uh, I don't know if it's uh, to spec, but it's still the feel is still there. And they sell yeah, four size versions. So they do. They okay. do. The R one is a full size AR like M four ver uh, uh, version. Okay, like the that is their uh, this right here. Excuse me for one second, y'all. Just to show them something else. But this right here is the AK mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that they came out with. Nice, real, real. Yeah, I mean so. It's all about that realism. When you train it, it is it's all about that realism. You need that. You do. And this is real. The realism of this, even to down to the how we drop the magazine, this is real. How we uh functions with have functions with the the charging handle. Yes. <laughs> how, <laughs> how, you know, I might not even say, but how that works. It's, it's the exact same thing. How we how we use it. So you know, it, I, I would train with this. I would definitely train with something with this. Me and my uh. My unit, we were training something like this. And would you say this is better, uh, would be a better training tool than what you guys have now? Oh, most definitely. Most okay. definitely. The training tool that we use right now is is, is, is crap. And I, I got to say that we, we if they, they spend more money on the training tools in, in the military and all branches and going with the quality of training tools, you get better shooters, you get better soldiers that, that you know, know their, they know their stuff. Nice. Uh, on, on the basics. So yeah, as a sergeant, I would rest, definitely recommend my soldiers to, to train with this, to get one of these and train with them. Heck yeah. And don't forget to subscribe to his channel. It's D-E-E -E Air Gunner. Yep. Uh, I will leave the link to his YouTube channel in the description. It's going to be also in the bio. Uh, make sure you hit us with a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Most, most definitely check out his channel and subscribe to it as well and hit it with a thumbs up on his new upload because it sounds like it's going to be jam-packed. Oh, yeah, yeah. It sounds like it's going to be awesome from Chicago to Arizona to Vegas. You guys got to watch that episode, right? Heck yeah. <laughs> then we got some hunting footage that's going to be on this episode, which if you've gotten to this point, you've already seen it. So. Right. <laughs> we appreciate you coming down here. Yeah, really I appreciate do, you man. having me, man. Thank you so much, brother. Uh, and uh, uh, thank you for your service as well, man. I appreciate it. Uh, no like I said, I don't know if you guys have, maybe you guys skipped or, or whatever in this episode, but he's active duty Army uh, MP. Mm -hmm. And uh, just want to give you all uh, your respects that you deserve, man. Thank you. Thank, uh, you. thank you. Shout out to SG. Shout out to 69 Whiskey. Shoot the whole Shooter 17 team. Uh, the whole Afro Sniper X Challenge team, mm -hmm. which you are on. Which I'm on. <laughs> which so, I'm on. I look forward to the next one. Heck yeah. Heck oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. So, uh. Uh, yeah, shout out to all those people and uh, shout out to Crossman AEA and yeah. Survival Air Guns. I got you, Hunter One. Hunter One. Hunter One. We got to give, give a shout out to him. Who Heck else yeah. we got uh, uh, out there in the community that's doing big things? Who else got we Hunter got? Uh, Air Gun Web, Air Gun Angie. We got Will. Yep, Will definitely Will. 
Air Gun Angie. Yeah, uh, yeah. He's one of my favorites, right? Yeah, there. Will Romans is one of my favorites. Yeah, Will Romans. Yeah. He knows the stuff, he man. Does. That, he that dude crazy, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he cool crazy, man. Yeah, yeah. For real, yeah. man. My plan, man, is to just go visit everybody. Heck yeah, you know, man. Before I get I have to deploy again, I, my plan is to visit y'all came to visit you and just, you know, ch do my checklist, come see some everybody. Heck yeah, with, that's man. what's up. Oh yeah. You can document the whole trip and, and all that good stuff, man. man. Yeah, document. that's some amazing content. I, I think, man, we you know, we don't do enough uh just come to see each other. We don't. You know what I'm saying? We don't. I think we do need to just branch out and say, hey, you know, hey, D, I'm in your air. I'm in Chicago, man. Let's let, let's get together and do some, you know, do some uh some shooting. Heck yeah. Some plinking something. And I like definitely that. will be hitting Chicago up in the oh, next man, couple of years through. for sure because my mom just through. moved out there. So. Okay, yeah, come through, man. Definitely now. We're going to get off into every gun I got. Woo-wee! Five of them. Yeah, <laughs> let's, do it, let's, let's do it. Let's do it. Five of them. And I'll bring some too because, uh, you know, that... Crazy thing, did you know, man, that you can't uh, travel with guns on the bus, but you could travel with guns on the plane? Yeah. That I is the dumbest thing. Right here. And yeah. you know why? What is that? Because uh, Greyhound is actually owned by someone in the UK. So, oh, so they, they set the regulations. Mm -hmm. It's private owned, so, you know, private rules. Figures. Which is uh, yeah, str str coming straight in from the left, that radical right uh, left. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah definitely, definitely. So, heck yeah, man. Uh Man, like I always say, stay popping that air, stay shooting that lead. It's your boy Afro Sniper X and DE Air Gunner right here. And uh, man, you only live life once, so live it to the fullest. To the so, fullest. To the fullest. <laughs> so heck yeah. Stay awesome, guys. Peace out. See you on the and next one. Stay road. dangerous. Oh, yeah.